Hello and welcome to MBS Show, episode number 449. I am your host, Roman Sanzo. And we got some news for you this week, and well, it's pretty, well, I, w- I will say interesting, yes. So anywho, let's not dilly dally and let's hop right into it. So first news is, rumors, possible My Little Pony G5 logo reveal from Taobao. Hmm. So, let's see what's the pistol wrote here. Uh, a seller over on Taobao has new listing up for the ring we posted a few days ago. Uh, what's strange about it is their stock image. One of them has a completely new, never before seen logo as seen above. Uh, this has sparked the rumor mill. And of course, we can't just ignore it with G5 so close. There is all sort of speculation how surrounding the product and when the shop picks up the merchandising. The actual box for the ring has the old school G4 logo, but a good chunk of the characters are unknown. This isn't completely new since Hasbro has their own toy only ponies for ages but it doesn't give uh, sorry but it does give us something to chew on while we wait for their <clears throat> presentation next month so yeah this is interesting um let's get a closer look this is mm, how how do i put this um the logos bit modernized i think it's not like the previous logos of old i mean uh, um, this is one of those scenarios where i'm going to regret uh, doing this but you know what i'm going to um full screen for a bit and do the google search okay here we go uh, this is safe. <clears throat> uh, right. So, as you can see here, um, this, uh, you know, this is a good example, yes. <clears throat> so, this is how the pony logos look like from ages to ages. And granted that as time goes on, we get to see a few varieties of the logos. <clears throat> uh, it, sees, it shows here that from 1983 to 1988, the logo was pretty simple. I wonder if I can click this, make it big. Uh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, uh, yes. And they kind of cleaned the design a little bit from 1988 to 1992. And there's a drastic redesign from 97 to 99. And from my memories, I remember uh, 2003 to 2010 because when I see Pony logo, that's how it looks like. And you can clearly tell that, okay, they carried over the Y to now. Uh, they took back the rainbow arc thing and it's really interesting to see how the logos... Uh, evolve over time and still keep some of the elements that they had before and take a look see like uh in 97 to 99 the eye that formed the heart was there uh, and they didn't really carry that over to future um designs but they did use the heart in most of its design like the my has a heart and the pony from 1993 20, <clears throat> to 2010. And that carry over to now with the my having a little heart. So and also the pony, the, uh, the P&Os. But what I'm trying to say is that, yes, um, as time goes on, the design for the logos change. Sometimes... Not much, but sometimes drastically. And if we go check how the newer logo looks like, um, where is that thing anyway? Oh, I think I may have clicked it over here. 
And if you take a look, see, this one is drastically different from um, what we saw. And I'm okay with this. This logo is pretty hip and cool. Maybe, <laughs> maybe by me saying that people are going to hate it. I don't know. But this is cool. This is pretty neat. Like, um, it's, everything is symmetrical where it's, it's really nice and clean. Like, there's nothing wrong with the pony logos of old and present, but the future, it looks really clean. It's one of those designs that you can patch it on your uh, jacket sleeve, like how Capsule Corp does. So, I would say this one is... Sorry, I would say this new design is not bad, and it looks really interesting. And let's see how they use it on packaging. Um, nothing yet. <laughs> it's just only the top side here. Uh, okay. Granted, this is just rumors and speculations. Nothing is cemented in stone yet. So, it's one of those cases where, hey, I could just be reporting on fan-made stuff and I just had, <laughs> and I just got had. But all in all, um, if it's true, I find the logo really interesting and uh, I do like it. And we will see what show comes out of it. But, hmm. Mm, give me a second. Hmm, that's interesting. They didn't really... Okay, what, what I'm thinking was uh, most of the time when you put a logo behind... Uh, when, when you have a logo, they'll have the trademark, um, the... 0TM was it like the TM of the circle like that's uh denoting that this is a trademark pro property and whatnot uh, it's usually on brands and toys but not seeing here on this and this makes me question and probably it's not something that's really important it's just worth noting but anyhow let's move on to the next topic and anyway next topic is Hasbro Investors Event for 2021 confirmed for February 25th. Uh, <clears throat> as we hypothesize, we, <clears throat> as hypothesize with the cancelling of the Toy Fair this year, Hasbro will be going ahead with an entirely virtual event in February to make up for it on the 25th of next month. They will most likely be dropping their big reveal for the year in merchandise and entertainment, considering this is the expected year. <clears throat> sorry, uh, the expected year for the G five movie later in September. We are definitely due for some news. So nothing much in terms of major events, but this is one of those things where um, I didn't report it. Last week or this week? But I didn't really report it because I didn't really thought that was that um, significant. But I'll just break it down. Usually when uh, the New York Toy Fair is around, Hasbro will go there and promote their stuff. Usually their products like um, the G.I. Joes, the Transformers, and My Little Pony and so on. Uh, telling the uh, investors and collectors and so on about what's going to, uh, what are they going to sell and whatnot. And usually this is one of those cases or scenarios where, all right, um, fans, we have a lot of things for you. And give me a moment. Welcome back. Sorry about that. I had to take a phone call. <laughs> So, what was I saying? Yes, uh, Toy Fair. They announce stuff, people get hype, and they make a lot of, uh, or they show a lot of things for the future. So, that's what I was going about. But anywho, <clears throat> um, with, with the event cancelled, they had to do this, uh, an investor's thing and whatnot. And, this is not something new or strange because what 
CES happened. Uh, that's the Consumer Electronic Show. That's for what? Um, brands like Sony, LG, Samsung, and so on to show out or to show off their swag or to show off their products for the coming year. And those usually entails like, oh, look at this fancy new TV and whatnot. I mean, it's the same thing, but for tech. And with this one, Hasbro, they're doing the same thing, but for their products. My Little Pony, Transformers, G.I. Joe's, I think what they hold the license for, the Marvel toys and so on. So, with this, we get to see what they're planning to move forward with. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they have that Magic the Gathering animated show on Netflix that's going on. I'm not sure if it's going to happen this year or next. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, as for this ponies, same thing. We have to wait and see what they have to announce because uh, they did say in a long time ago that the movie is going to come out first before G5. Uh, the movie is going to lead into G5. So we got no idea if it's going to be or what kind of show it's going to be. Is it going to be action adventure? Uh, action adventure with a dash of social life? Or is it going to be purely slice of life where it's just going to be one of those shows where <clears throat> fans are not going to enjoy? I mean, what makes G4 special is that the show itself has a lot of interesting lore to it. And you know what? I'll probably keep this when we go into season 5 and so on. But anyway, um, just have to wait for the investor thingy something. So yeah, that's about it. That's the news for this week. So let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is what have I been doing with my week? Sorry, while I close this for a bit and open the thing that I want to talk about. <laughs> so... What have I been doing this week is nothing much, just simple um, stuff like just um, playing a bit of games, uh, doing a bit of work and so on. Um, I don't think I mentioned this, but did I? I feel like I did. But if I did, I just retreat. Um, my country uh, has entered in its... Uh, quote unquote second lock, uh, full lockdown phase, or yeah, my my state has entered its um full uh second lockdown state where there's a cure few of eight p.m. and uh travel is limited and whatnot, all, all that stuff, all that good stuff, all all the good stuff that comes off with lockdown, and other than that, um, there's nothing much to say. I've just been at home, doing a bit of work and whatnot. And, well, let's just say that things have been pretty okay. I won't say it's exciting. So, if you're wondering what I have been doing, uh, one of the few things is that I played a bit of Overwatch. Surprisingly, yes. Uh, I know I haven't talked about it that much, but Overwatch has been one of those games where the player base has dwindled a bit. That... Getting a game on is a bit difficult. Previously, I could have gotten a game at whatever time I played, which is pretty awesome. And uh, that get me going. But with uh, the state that it's in, getting a game is pretty hard. Like me not just like me getting nothing or just having to wait for a few hours just to get a game is... Or three minutes, really. Uh, it's just demotivating. Like, whenever you play a game, you just want to get in and in. Like, after this finish, you want to go in again. After this finish, you want to go in again. But with how Overwatch is right now, it's pretty bland. So, I've played another game. And it's an old one, but still, it's a fun one. And that's Demon Souls 3. Wait, not Demon Souls. There's Dark Souls Three. Demon Souls is another one. But anyway, uh, Dark Souls Three. Yes, uh, 
played it again just because I, I've been seeing Let's Plays for Demon Souls. And it's fun, and I don't have a PS5 to play the game, so the next best thing is to play Demon's Dark Souls 3. And I haven't played the DLC yet, so it's a good place to kind of, well, get into it. Other than that, uh, it's pretty fun. I haven't gone far yet. And just getting that muscle memory back, like you, you played the game for so long, you kind of get certain uh, reactions, muscle memories getting back. Like those, those are fun. Those are fun. And another thing that you guys should check out that I did this week is that, <clears throat> let's see if I can do it without it triggering the audio. Ah, uh, there we go. <clears throat> okay. So is this. Ta-da! I was on Silver Quill's Fulfillment Friday, and it was a heck of a time. I, I, I enjoyed my time there, get to talk with Silver and got to talk with the audience, uh, his chat, and it didn't really seem that much, but it we, we spent almost two and a half hours just talking, answering questions, and just bantering about what happen like you know just catching up with uh silver and whatnot it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun and yeah i, I there was a lot of awesome guys uh sorry i can't remember all of you guys like i i remember the philippines that's that's something yeah um oh uh, well <laughs> what else can i say uh this was just amazing like, I wish I could do it again, because just getting to sit down and talk and answer questions is just fun. Especially in this day and time where the pandemic is going on and we can't really go out much. So, yeah, this 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 sucks. Well, this doesn't suck. The, what you call this, the scenario that we're in sucks. So, yeah. I would highly recommend that you go watch the Fulfillment Friday uh, featuring me and give it a like. It's always fun. And people who dislike it, eh, everybody's a critic. But anywho, but anywho, let's wrap things up. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can always uh, contact us at com. If you want to reach us on the Twitters, you can do so too. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. If I'm sorry, let's see. Uh, also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on MoneyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. If you would also please be kind, do subscribe to us on the what. Uh, for sorry, do subscribe to our other show, the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Totera, reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and episodes. Yes. Anyway, uh, yes. Uh, sometimes we like to do other things other than the ponies, and those are cartoon, comics, animes, and games. Uh, yeah. Go check us out there because it's a lot of fun. We we talk a lot. Just imagine. Uh, that two and a half hours with me and Silver Quill just talking about random stuff, but more tight, like more focused on something. Like if we were to talk about Pokemons, I don't know. That's the first thing I thought. <laughs> so yes, Pokemons. So anyway, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review, discussion, podcast, exclusive, and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Master of Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya! See ya!